What's up, YouTube? First of all, I would like to apologize for my slacking on content, editing. Just had a lot going on, but I will try to be better. I can change. I'll be better. Guess you haven't seen this thing for a while, right? Uh, so Mr. Firecar, the Gallant. Um, it's running. I'm going through and cleaning it up. I'm gonna detail the engine bay. It's a little dirty. But main reason for my video today, it has to do with gear ratios and using math to your advantage with cars. Because I'm seeing an awful lot of posts of people asking opinions on gear ratios, transmissions, things of this sort. And it's all just opinion and hearsay, like, hey, how does this one drive? What, what trans should I get? How do you like it? Like everyone's needs are going to be different. Like you got to make it work for your car. And yes, there's online calculators that can do this, but this equation right here is all that that is doing. So it's 336. That's always the same. Multiplied by mile an hour, multiplied by your diff ratio, multiplied by your trans ratio. So what gear you're in, your gear ratio divided by tire diameter equals RPM. If you're a stick shift, this is exact. If you're auto, then it's gonna be exact when you're in lockup, but if you're calculating, say, quarter mile past when you're going through the traps, you need to add a bit for torque converter slip and keep that in mind. And of course, like math, you can kind of work backwards. You can put in RPM and then divide, and that can give you mile an hour. You know, this is all gonna work related, but I feel like this is a very important tool for car guys to use if you're trying to figure out, um, you know, what your car going to be mile an hour and, you know, what RPMs is going to be doing at a given mile an hour. Like, that's that's basic, basic things, but I feel like a lot of basic knowledge is falling on the wayside. So this is me doing my part to try to share. So I crunched the numbers on my IS300. I was trying to find the footage because I ran it in the quarter and... Those gears are so freaking short. As we all know, the CD009 gears are very short. I currently have a 373 diff ratio in it currently. So this is current, and then this is what I want to go to. I want to go to a 326 diff ratio. So these are the gear ratios, and so this is given a 7,000 RPM red line. This is the top speeds I would be hitting at that 7K RPM in each gear, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear. So this is the big issue right here. Um, when I ran into the quarter, I was trapping 120. I'm hoping for a 130 trap someday, but not with those short freaking gears. Doing a four five shift in the quarter and having to shift so much, that doesn't benefit a car with a reasonable amount of power. You're just shifting a bunch. You're falling in and out of boost the whole time. It's, it's not efficient. It's not the way to go. So, I mean, I'd like to go even lower if possible, but this is, you know, I'm going to work with what I got. So this is what the mile an hours would go to, given this rear diff change. It would benefit the car very much. And then also, I'm going to do an update on it, but the Lexus is getting another engine build. It's going to get cams. And so this is going to get raised to about eight. And so that will allow me to get my 130 trap, which is kind of my goal for the car. I want 11 second car with a 130 trap and of course drift and all those things but yes obviously that will make the car work much better so anyways that's my point just saying learn how to use math sometimes when it has to do with your car and don't ask these opinion based questions that people are gonna project out their own needs like you know a, a 200 horsepower car is gonna need a completely different diff ratio you know and especially if it's an A versus a boosted freaking 800 horsepower car, it's going to be completely different. So figure it out for your own car and your own needs and what you're doing. Quit going off of opinion for something that can be figured out on your own very easily. Thank you.